In today's video, man, we are going to be unboxing this massive box of WWE action figures that I got from Ringside Collectibles. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a massive unboxing for you guys that we did get from Ringside Collectibles. Of course, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. Actually, only uploaded a short yesterday. Didn't do a Christmas video. I think for the first time ever, we didn't upload on Christmas Day in the channel's seven-year history or whatever the hell. I don't even remember the years now, man. The, the years just unwind nowadays, but... Today, man, we are getting into this massive box that I got from Ringside. Now, I did cash in on the Black Friday 4.0 sale, and I gotta be real, I don't even remember what I ordered because I was just like, man, dude, I need some parts for surgery. I need this. Let's just uh, kind of get us a good unboxing video here today. Classic style going on, man. But I had a very Merry Christmas. I hope you guys also did as well. Hope everybody is blessed out there, man. But today, we are gonna be unboxing this. Now, one thing that's crazy is one of the presents that I got from my wife this year is we have a brand new trusty knife. Now, I know this is going to be bittersweet. Honestly, I love the old trusty knife so much, but he has gotten a little bit. He's not as sharp as he once was in his prime day, man. I mean, it's just the case. But we do have this, like, new combat-style knife that is very similar to the trusty knife. I mean, look at it. It's like a freaking... I mean, like, you could really do some damage with this thing. It's unbelievable, but... It does have the pink zebra print right here, and it's got, like, a brass knuck in it. I mean, dude, look at this thing. I mean, it looks like it looks like a symbiote took over the trusty knife is what it looks like to me. It looks like it would just F you up. But today's going to be the first unboxing with this thing. And not that the trusty knife is gone. I just couldn't find him, and I figured this is a great video to introduce the, this brand-new knife. And you guys could name it down in the comment section. If that was the trusty knife, what the hell is this? This is the untrustworthy knife. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like it would stab you in a back alley. Hanging out with smoking behind the gymnasium, Dean Ambrose. But let's crack this box up open see what the hell we got and uh, find the hell out now i am editing this on my phone so i will not be able to do the dolph ziggler music but uh i'll figure out something for the next one i mean dude what is this i mean like i look like i could just look at that unbelievable so opening up our box here man I guess I'm just going to take every figure out one by one, but first thing we did get is some silver chairs. I went ahead and got some uh, some silver folding chairs. I mean, they were very cheap, and you know, I'm always open for weapons and accessories. All right, man, let's dive in here. Starting out first, I did grab an AEW Unmatched Series 4 Adam Hangman page. Now, the reason that I got this figure was mainly for parts, and it was like $2.99, man, $2.99 for some extra legs, some great accessories, a solid overall figure. Why not go ahead and buy that for the accessories alone what the hell is up with the lighting right here man hold up i gotta i gotta fix this all right man the next figure that we got was the ringside collectibles exclusive aew unrivaled cm punk figure from his uh emphatic return now will we see another one of these in wwe action figure form i guess it remains to be seen but I like this figure a lot. I got it for the promo gear. It was, I think it was cheaper. I want to say it was like 20 something bucks or something, but I needed another one. And actually the one that I had mint on card is kind of beat up. So I'm going to keep this one mint on card because it's a lot better condition. And I'm going to open mine that, uh, that I have already. So we'll see about that. I don't know, but this is good for promo gears and extra accessories. There's so many good things going on with this punk figure. I figured why not grab another one. Next up, man, we do have another ringside exclusive. We have the ringside exclusive Tommaso Ciampa from NXT War Games from a few years back and I went through my review and I think the version that I got only had one knee pad if you guys remember that I had like a weird factory error and I was looking at the formula of this guy and I think we're going to be able to do some really creative things with this I I'm going to have to remember exactly what fix up I was trying to do with him but I I want to say I got this for surgery specifically and it was on the cheaper side I want to say it was like $14.99 maybe I can't exactly remember but it also has a lot of really cool accessories as well so uh you know sometimes it's about more than the figure man I mean if you can get some really cool accessories to go along with that price point, always uh, a reason to cash in. Next up, we have the AEW Unrivaled 10 Jake Hager. Now, you're probably wondering, MDT, why the hell did you buy that? That, like, that figure is not worth a hill of beans. Well, it's because mine, actually, when I got mine from ringside, initially, my bicep was backwards. My entire, my entire arm was backwards, so I wanted another one. And again, it was one of those figures that was really cheap, and so I, I went ahead and added it to the cart. 
We did get another AEW figure, and we actually have a tag team here, man. We got Santana and Ortiz from Unmatched Series 2. Very cheap figures again, and I think I got these for the camo. I thought that, you know, we could do some fix-ups with camo and things of that nature. So, you know, a lot of this stuff was for parts reasons, but I figured, again, man, why not get the extra parts? Especially when figures are that cheap and you need parts for surgery, that is when you want to cash in, man. Black Friday, Ollie's, cheap places like that, man. You need to go and, and investigate these stores so that you can get extras for those fix-ups and stuff if that's what you guys like to do. Got some more fluff. Diving back in, man, we do have an Unmatched Series 4 MJF. The same reason for the Jake Hager mine. I turned into a fix-up or something like that, so I needed to re-add this to the collection. So that's the only reason I got that. And again, it was cheap. Why not go ahead? There's really not a better time to do so. So next up, I did get a pair of Unmatched Series 4 Cody Rhodes figures. So I did grab these. If I want to say now, coming up this coming weekend, I think we're going to do like our top AEW figures of the year. And last year, I want to say this was number one, right? Or the year before. And I love this figure. So, you know, it's an extra, you have extra Cody heads, you have extra suited bodies, you could remove the winter coat, you get AEW microphones. There's just a lot of stuff going on here that I, I really wanted. Mainly parts choices again. You can fix up and do surgery and things of that nature. So we're definitely going to get our usage out of these Cody's. And I was thinking maybe they'll throw a chase in there, so I, I ordered two of them. And so, yeah, we got we got more parts, man. It's all about the parts, especially with these Black Friday sales. You catch up on figures that uh, you, you miss out on. You get parts for other figures, and you get a lot of bang for your buck. We do have the ringside exclusive Darby Allen figure. Now, again, mine initially was beat to hell, like with my first version, so... I think I may leave this one then on card. I don't know exactly, but I love Darby Allen figures. You guys know that they are some of the best AEW figures that Jazzwares makes are the Darby Allens. Adding another Darby Allen is nothing to me. You get the body bag, like just tons of great stuff. I think this is $12. So another Darby Allen, head sculpts, body bag, skateboard accessory. Great figure right there. I have no issues with that one whatsoever. We also got, uh, oh, I forgot about this one. We did get... The Unmatched Series 5 Sammy Guevara. Another thing about parts, very standard jogger mold or black sweatpant mold on the bottom right there for Sammy Guevara. So I went ahead and picked that up. A lot of these figures that you're seeing are $2.99, $3.99, $5 at the most. So, you know, if you go to your local stores, you're going to find a lot of mostly the female figures that you'll find. So getting some of these male figures for very cheap for parts and things of that nature, like I stated, is really awesome. So let's move on, man. We did get some basic figures. And the first basic that we got is the Johnny Gargano Basic Series 130 figure. Now this, I think I'm going to put this head sculpt on my Elite 105 Johnny Gargano when we get into surgery. And again, a very cheap basic. I want to say it's two or three bucks. Throw it in there, get the head sculpt, put it on my Elite 105 just because I, I, I like this likeness better, I think so. I don't want him smiling, so I'm going to go with that. We also got a pair of Roman Reigns figures, and we did get the, uh, we, we got both versions, man. We got the basic 129 Roman Reigns, we got the regular version, and the Chase variant. Now, you guys know that I've been wanting a, uh, a figure of this, and we're going to use the ponytail head sculpts. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use these for elites, or I'm just going to use these Roman Reigns for basic figures. I don't know exactly, but they're really clean basics. I like promo gear basics specifically. Really wish they had the new articulation, but these are clean, and I, I love this look for Roman, man. Really wish we got this in elite form, but I don't know. We'll play around with that. We'll see what kind of usage we can get out of these guys, but we did grab two different Roman Reigns basics. And then we did cash in on some accessories. Now, I did get one of the action packs right here. Always nice to have extras of these. I love the chain. I love the barbed wire around the bat, the broom, the chair. You have that barbed wire like pallet thing that was cool. So I think that makes my third or something like that. And it's always cool to have extra accessories and stuff. So setups, eventual return of the Fed. Lots of cool things going on there. We also picked up an AEW commentator set. So I did grab the AEW commentator set. Another one where I really just picked this up for customization. I kind of want to play around with it and see what all kind of the custom customization I can do. I know I've done an MDT Pre-show panel table, we've done different tables and 3D prints and stuff, and we have custom vindication and MDT live announce tables, but I figured there's something I can do here. We can play around with this. We'll see what comes of it. Maybe I can edit the monitors. I don't know. I was just kind of playing around with it, and I wanted to get another one for 10 bucks or whatever the hell I paid for this. Maybe seven. I don't know. I can't remember what I paid, but I figured why not? Take the chance, cash in the money in the bank briefcase. And actually, there's only one more figure in here, and the last figure that we have is going to be none other. Then the trash. We did grab an Elite Series 99 Trash Corbin. This is actually a very quality figure, man. 
a very unique build. I thought that this gimmick that he had, the poor gimmick, he should have kept longer. And I didn't like that he hit the lotto and all those different things, and he switched his gimmick. I think the poor man, Trash Corbin, was just such a... It really was golden. I think I'm going to play around with this. I like the extra white shirt. I'm going to play around with that. I like the Trash Corbin, like, depleted head sculpt that we're going to play around with. So, I don't know. It'll be fun. We'll see what we can do with that. But nonetheless, man, that is the full bias. I do want to set everything up real quick, and then I'll get into some details. All right, man, so here is everything that we picked up all stacked up. I'm going to be honest. I thought there was a little more in the box, you know? But this is plenty. This is a lot of stuff going on. I just, I, I, for some reason, when I ordered it, I remember thinking, damn, this is a lot of figures. It's still a lot of figures. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I was, I, I don't know what the hell my problem is, all right? Nonetheless, man, I hope you guys did have a fantastic Christmas. Uh, mine was very blessed. I always enjoy time with the family and, you know, celebrating and seeing my children unbox their stuff and, and everything like that. It's just a true blessing, man. It never gets old. never will get old. But here's everything that we got today, and I think that we're going to get a lot of good usage out of this stuff. I'm looking forward to it, man. Again, a lot of ideas for fix-ups and stuff like that that I was inspired by this week. Which is really good, and have again, man, having this collection out is way easier to find stuff, which is amazing, and uh, now we can get more videos out, man. It's great. I appreciate all of your patience, man. Thank you guys so very much for the continued support this year. Hope you guys did have a fantastic year of 2023, and I pray that 2024 is even better for you, but I think that's going to wrap up our unboxing. A lot of work getting done to the office today, so I'm excited about that. That is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas as well, as always. Love each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. But that is going to wrap the video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>